Dogri, Dogri or Gri, is an Indo-Aryan language spoken by about 5 million people in India and Pakistan, chiefly in the Jammu region of Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, but also in northern Punjab, other parts of Jammu and Kashmir, and elsewhere. Dogri speakers are called Dogras, and the Dogri-speaking region is called Dugar. Although formerly treated as a Punjabi dialect, Dogri is now considered to be a member of the Western Pahari group of languages. The language is referred to as Pahari, Pahari or Pei, in Pakistan. Unusually for an Indo-European language, Dogri is tonal, a trait it shares with other Western Pahari languages and Punjabi. Dogri has several varieties, all with greater than 80% lexical similarity within Jammu and Kashmir. Before gaining language status, for the census of India, Dogri was classified as one of the many varieties of Punjabi, such as Maji or Dobi. Script Dogri was originally written using the Dogri script which is very close to the Takri script. The language is now more commonly written in Devanagari in India, and in the Nasta Liq form of Perso-Arabic in Pakistan and Pakistani-administered Kashmir. Unicode Dogri script was added to the Unicode standard in June 2018 with the release of version 11.0.The Unicode block for Dogra is U plus 11800 U plus 1184F and it contains 60 characters. Some common words Tonality Western Pahari languages, Punjabi and Punjabi dialects are frequently tonal, which is very unusual for Indo-European languages, although Swedish and Norwegian are tonal also. This tonality makes it difficult for speakers of other Indo-Aryan languages to gain facility in Dogri, though native Punjabi speakers, especially speakers of northern dialects such as Hindko and Mirpuri, may find it easier to make the transition. Some common examples are shown below. Diaspora Given below is a table of national share of Dogri speakers in 2011. Historical references The Greek astrologer Pulomi, accompanying Alexander in his 323 BC campaign into the Indian subcontinent, referred to some inhabitants of Dugar as a brave Dogra family living in the mountain ranges of Shivalik. In the year 1317, Amir Khusro, the famous Urdu and Persian poet, referred to Dugar Dogri while describing the languages and dialects of India as follows. Sindhi o Lahori o Kashmiri o Dugar. Theories on name origin Intellectuals in the court of Maharaja Ranbir Singh S. O. Gulab Singh of Jammu and Kashmir, described Dugar as a distorted form of the word Gwigart, which means two troughs, a possible reference to the Mansur and Sruansar lakes, the linguist George Grierson connected the term Dugar with the Rajasthani word Donger, which means hill, and Dagra with Donger. This opinion has lacked support because of the inconsistency of the ostensible changes from Rajasthani to Dogri, essentially the question of how Dongar became Dugar while Dongar became Dagra, and been contradicted by some scholars, yet another proposal stems from the presence of the word Durgar. In the Buri Singh Museum in Chamba, Himachal Pradesh, the word Durgar means invincible, in several northern Indian languages, and could be an allusion to the ruggedness of the Dugar terrain and the historically militarized and autonomous Dagra societies. In Himachal, Dagri is majorly spoken in Hamarpur, Barsar, Una, Chintpurni, Kangra, and Balaspur regions. In 1976, the experts attending the language session of the All India Oriental Conference, held in Darwar, Karnataka, could not reach consensus on the Gwigart and Durgar hypotheses, but did manage agreement on a Donger Dugger connection. In a subsequent All India Oriental Conference held at Jaipur in 1982, the linguists agreed that the culture, language, and history of Rajasthan and Dugger share some similarities. It was also suggested that the words Dugger and 
Dagra are common in some parts of Rajasthan. Specifically, it was asserted that areas with a large number of forts are called Dugar, and their inhabitants are accordingly known as Dagras. The land of Dugar also has a large number of forts, which may support the opinion above. An article by Dharam Chand Prashant in the literary magazine Shiraza Dagri suggested that the opinion that the word Dugar is a form of the word Dugar sounds appropriate. The Turkish Dagar is also the name of a Turkmen Oghuz tribe originating in Central Asia and also found amongst the Kurds. In Turkey, one of the towns named after them can be written as Dokur, Dugar, Dokur, and Dugar. Recent history In modern times, a notable Dogri translation in the Takri script of the Sanskrit classic mathematical opus Lilavati, by the noted mathematician Bhaskaracharya b. 1114 AD, was published by the Vidya Vilas Press, Jammu in 1873. As Sanskrit literacy remained confined to a few, the late Maharaja Ranbir Singh had the Lilavati translated into Dagri by Yachi Bishishwar, then principal of Jammu Pathshalat Dagri has an established tradition of poetry, fiction and dramatic works. Recent poets range from the 18th century Dagri poet Kavi Datu (1725–1780) in Raja Ranjit Dev's court to Professor Ram Nath Shastri and Mrs. Padma Sachdev. Kavi Datu is highly regarded for his Bara Massa 12 months, Kamal Netra, Lotus Eyes, Bhup Bijog and Beer Billis. Shiraza Dagri is a Dagri literary periodical issued by the Jammu and Kashmir Academy of Art, Culture and Languages, which is a notable publisher of modern Dagri literary work, another being the Dagri Sanstha. Popular recent songs include Polish Faya Dagarya, Mani D. Mauj and Shori Daya. The noted Pakistani singer Malika Pukra had roots in the Dugar region, and her renditions of several Dogri songs continue to be popular in the region. Some devotional songs, or bhajans, composed by Karan Singh have gained increasing popularity over time, including Khan Karyan Teri Arti. Dogri programming features regularly on Radio Kashmir, a division of All India Radio, and Doordarshan, Indian State Television, broadcasts in Jammu and Kashmir. However, Dogri does not have a dedicated state television channel yet, unlike Kashmiri, which has the Doordarshan Kashore channel, available on cable and satellite television throughout India. Official recognition of the language has been gradual, but progressive. On 2 August 1969, the General Council of the Sahitya Academy, Delhi recognized Dogri as an independent modern literary language of India, based on the unanimous recommendation of a panel of linguists, Indian Express, New Delhi, 3 August 1969. Dogri is one of the state languages of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. On the 22nd of December 2003, in a major milestone for the official status of the language, Dogri was recognized as a national language of India in the Indian constitution. In Pakistan, the language, under the name, Pahari continues to thrive, but is not known to have received official patronage to date. The Alami Pahari Adabi Sangat Global Pahari Cultural Association is a Pakistani organization dedicated to the advancement and progress of the language. In 2005, a collection of over 100 works of prose and poetry in Dogri published over the last 50 years was made accessible online at the Central Institute of Indian Languages, CIIL, Mysore. This included works of eminent writer Dinu Bai Panth, Professor Maidan Mohan Sharma, B.P. Sathai and Ram Nath Shastri. See also Dogri Kangri languages List of Sahitya Akademi Award winners for Dogri Dogri Cinema Languages of India Languages with official status in India List of languages by number of native speakers in India References Bibliography Gopal Halder, 2000. Languages of India. New Delhi, National Book Trust. External links the Dogri language, article by Ved Kumari Guy Duggartimes.com, for more on Dogri language, literature and writers 
dailyexcelsior.com. 100th Amendment. News report on the recognition of Dogri as a national language. Modifications to Divanagri to represent Dogri tones. Pahari.org, Alami Pahari Adabi Sangat, Global Pahari Cultural Association. Ancientscripts.com, The Takri Script. Krulp.org, Paper on Tonality and Intonation in Punjabi. Dogri Computing Resources at TDIL, Devanagari Script.